Hi, I'm Nico. Welcome back to the channel. It's been a little while since I've posted anything to YouTube and that's because for the last two months we've been really busy with moving house. But uh, we're here in a new crib. We're about 90% moved in now. And this is my new office space. Cozy, isn't it? So in today's video, uh, I wanted to make a quick and simple one and we're going to look at a picture I took in January 2021 and we're going to critique it. I think it's, um, it's very important if you want to be uh, <clears throat> any good at this photography thing to be able to tell the difference between a good picture and a bad picture and to identify and break down things so you know the steps to take to make a bad picture better and even possibly good. Just down my street, there is this uh, fantastic looking building. It's a kindergarten that's been uh, painted by a somewhat famous uh, designer whose name I forget, but they're from Europe. And this building is just right down my street. So I take dozens of pictures of it every year. Literally every time I leave the house, if I have 30 seconds extra on my commute and if the light is decent, I'll take a picture of that building, hoping to get the perfect ultimate picture of it, which I have found over the years cannot be done because it's always different under different lights and different seasons and it always looks good. So this is a nice picture that I got uh, sometime last spring, 2020, I believe. Um, but in January 2021, it snowed and it was really nice. So I went out one morning, I think, and I got that picture. So there are things I like about it and things I don't like about it. What I like about it, first of all, I got the right lens, 35 mil, and the building is the right size of the, in the frame. It's not dominating, it's leaving space for other elements to exist, but also it's clearly the main subject. I like the bird. It's a, it's a nice bird. It's in profile. It's uh, easy to read. It's not cluttered by any other elements. <clears throat> so yay me for that. I like that light on top. Uh, it uh, looks like a star in the sky. It's really nice effects. So I'm happy with that. I like that I framed uh, this tree cleanly and um, Circle in the tiles around it uh, is also not uh, not cut by the edges of my frame. And of course, I'm happy that the building itself, it's nicely framed within a frame. It's uh, easily readable. There's like basically no branch that's cutting it off. And it's uh, framed by the trees in the foreground and this uh, the lamp. So these are things that worked. What doesn't work? is that the building is way off center. And if something is off center like that, it usually means that you are trying to include something else in the frame and that's why you have to push off center. So immediately this draws attention to that ping pong table. Why is it so important that I have to put my main subject off center to include it? It's really not, is it? And now that we're looking at this part of the frame that I drew attention to by my choices, we're noticing that the, um, the trees are really hard to read. They're the ping pong table too. Everything is cut either by the edge of the frame or by another element in the foreground. Visually, it's, it's loud, it's messy. Not a pleasant spot of the picture. And finally, I don't like all those branches. Uh, I could have had a clean sky, negative space, or I could have had something a bit of a less busy this is very contrasty black on light blue and it's noisy again to make a musical metaphor this is noise so what can i do to fix all those things um, one option is to go back to what worked i can go back to that same framing i used earlier in 2020 in the spring and i can wait for the very last light of the day and i can get this this will always work I've taken that same picture a few times over the years, like I said. But I want my idea of the small house in the snowy environment to, to function. I want to fix it. So I'm going to go back. And this time, this is early morning, right after it's not all night. So the snow is way more fresh and 
with the shortcomings of the previous picture in mind, this is how I made this picture better. So first of all, I brought the building back to the center of the frame. This gives less importance to the ping pong table and this catches the eye much better. Speaking of the ping pong table and the trees around it, you see that I took a step to my right and now every shape is separated, every shape is readable. There's no more a clutter of trees, it's, uh, it gives a much nicer impression of depth because the foreground, the middle ground and the background are separated and they don't clash into one another. And finally, I fixed the trees and the busyness of the upper branches by having snow on them. And now the contrast is greatly reduced because the snow is much closer color to the sky behind. So this almost reads at negative, as negative space now. It's a, it's a much quieter and it doesn't draw so much attention away from the building. What I could have done better with this picture though is that now because of the weight of the snow the branches are falling and they are cutting into the roof of the building. It's not as clean and readable as it was the first, uh, in the first picture. But you can't win them all and it's, it's all a compromise. So this isn't a great picture but this is a good picture. Let's uh, compare them then. This was where I started and this is how it ended. There's a number of other things we could have done. I could have waited for someone to walk through the frame to bring a bit of life. Uh, to be honest, I did try that, but I didn't get the right person or the right step or the right attitude. So none of these pictures was a keeper. Uh, I could have waited for birds like I had in my original spring picture, but uh, no birds around this morning. They wake up rather later than that. So in the end, this is the picture as it is. Uh, I will probably take more in the coming years because I still live in that street. But um, for now, I'm happy with this one as the winter representation of that building. All right, I hope this was inspiring to you guys. Uh, I'll be back very soon with more videos. Uh, sorry I've been gone so long. Thank you for tuning in.